So today we're speedrunning through Cut the Rope, which is probably one of my favorite mobile games of all time, even if I'm playing this on a PC instead of on a mobile device, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to start the speedrun as soon as we load in right here, and yeah, we cut the rope. I bet you weren't really expecting that. But yeah, the basic idea behind this game is you want to cut these different ropes and try to get the candy to our little guy down here named Um Num. He really loves candy, and I guess I love giving it to him, which I mean, he is really cute, and he does deserve the candy. So each of these are a slightly different puzzle, and the thing that makes it a bit harder is we also want to get all these yellow stars that are around the level. Those are basically just kind of necessary if you want to 100% the game. For the speedrun I'm doing, I'm doing the 100% speedrun instead of the any percent speedrun. And the basic reason behind that is when I was a kid, I would always play these types of games to try to get 100% of them. I don't know. It was just like something in me that wouldn't allow me to just, it just hurt me when I was missing a star. So I really need to get this 100%. And I think it's an interesting speed run because if you're just going straight towards his mouth, it's a little bit easier, at least in some levels. Some levels, there are some pretty interesting strategies, but that doesn't matter. I just got to focus on what I got to do. There are going to be 25 levels total for this speed run. We are doing the cardboard box speed run. So we got to go through each of these and the mechanics get a little more interesting each time or they add a a couple new mechanics as you go on i think this is one okay yeah oh actually this is one so like here you know they'll add in the different ropes as you get inside those areas and then you can cut those ones you can see it also happening here where we can go right there use the momentum get all these little yellow bits and our boy's pretty happy if i wasn't doing the 100 percent speed run i could have just cut it at the top and it would have been a lot easier but i have to be a perfectionist for some reason i don't know why i have to play games these ways it's one of the reasons why sometimes games are a little annoying for me but that doesn't really matter because you know i'm having a good time like i said this is probably one of my favorite mobile games of all time i don't know it's just something about this game all the puzzles are really interesting and you can just learn with each one they add in new mechanics and yeah it's just a cool game so i'm pretty excited to speed run it for a while i'm not gonna lie i kind of forgot about it but i'm pretty sure i got a couple comments recommending it and i was like wow this is like one of my favorite games of all time why have i not done this yet so like right here, we're just kind of using our bubble to go up to our boy. Not the hardest level in the world, especially once you actually kind of know what to do. Now, one thing I should mention is I am playing this on the computer instead of on my phone or something. And that actually makes the game a little bit harder, at least in my opinion. The reason behind that is because, okay, I messed that up. Well, that was kind of embarrassing. Please don't let that happen again. But I think that makes this game slightly harder. And the reason behind that is because we only have one computer mouse when okay how do i do this one again sorry i have to think for a second okay i am i'm choking right now i am choking right now i'm choking please stop choking me it's not <laughs> okay can i just get that right <laughs> there goes my brain and there goes my time that was that was an event but like i was saying the reason why it's harder on the computer is because you only have one mouse. When you're playing this on a phone, you can use both of your fingers to do things. And that makes a couple of these areas harder, or I guess easier is what I'm trying to say. I don't know where harder came from. But yeah, still, it's still the same general game. I think they actually switched up a couple of the levels when you are playing it on PC, just because for some of these levels, you can't do it the exact same way. So it kind of is important for them not to be the exact same thing. Oh, and I am happy I got that right. There have been many times where I just don't get the slightest amount. I need a tiny bit more momentum and I'm not able to do it. But at this point, I need to stop talking and just kind of concentrating on what I need to do because we're on the last few levels and this is the part where I could really start messing everything up. So I really want to give our boy his candy. We only have two levels left. This one's a little bit difficult. We have to go right there and it gets right in his mouth. And now we just have one level and then we can end off the speed run. I just have to remember how to do this one like that. Go right there, cut those. And there we go. That is going to be time. 418. But doing only one of the boxes and cut the rope just wouldn't do the game enough justice. So we're also going to be speedrunning through box number two, the fabric box. And of course, we can start our timer as soon as we get in right here. And yeah, now we have these blue things which spurt out air. So I'm going to call them blue things that spurt out of air because I can't really think of another name. <laughs> I know I'm amazing at naming things. But anyway, these blue things spurt out. How many times am I going to say this in a second? But you can use these in some pretty cool ways. You can see they have some pretty interesting puzzles with them. 
like this one, we use the blue thing, it'll spurt some air, we get in the bubble, then we can spread out some air with the other one. For this one, we use this in combination with the ropes, and this is actually probably one of my favorite things about Cut the Rope in general. They kind of just always add slight new additions to their game, but then they're able to combine that with their pre-existing stuff and make some really interesting levels. And I think that's one of the really strong things about Cut the Rope. Like I said, this is one of my favorite mobile games of all time. And I think that just because it's kind of always interesting. Also, I realize this is sounding a lot like an ad at this point, but I promise it's, it's really not. It's more of me just fanboying over a game, which, you know, probably isn't a good look. But anyway, okay, well, we messed that up a tiny bit, but that doesn't matter. And that bubble was trying to destroy me, whatever. We got the candy in our boy's mouth. Now we have to do this one, which you have to be kind of quick on. And like I've said before, with this game, I just constantly have to be on my toes and waiting for what I have to do. I actually could have like cut that rope a little sooner and made a sooner cycle, but I wasn't completely ready. And for this entire game, it's pretty much just a challenge of, are you ready? And like here, I have to cut that right there. And yeah, now they've added the spider thing, which you can see these guys. They're these like little spiders that come through and they're trying to eat your candy because they're jerks, I guess. And we don't really want that. So what we can do is as long as we cut the rope before the spider gets to it and before the spider gets to the candy, we're going to be fine. So I don't really like these guys because I don't want them to take Um Num's candy. Um Num's a great guy. Why are you trying to do this? So right there, we can cut his rope and that barely made it into our boy's mouth. <laughs> that could have been very easily bad. But anyway, now we got this spider who is trying to crawl across this entire rope. I mean, you got to hand it to him. He's really trying hard for this candy. Like, I kind of feel bad for him that he dies right there because he was really working hard for that one. Some of these other spiders, they're a lot more lazy and they're like trying to go across a really small rope. But that guy really wanted the candy, but it doesn't matter either way because I care about my boy Um Num before I care about my boy these spiders. Or I guess they aren't really my boy. And for this one, this one's kind of hard. And we have to do that. And then we have to do that. And this is one that I've messed up so much on. So I am very happy that I was actually able to do this. Now we just have to focus on me not messing up this run completely. Gonna wait for that to calm down. I do not want this spider to eat my thing, please. Okay. Oh, some of these levels give me like mini heart attacks. And I really just don't want to mess up this run at this point. Because I've messed up so many runs before just to like the stupidest things in the world because I haven't been paying attention, but this one looks really good so far. We're able to give our boy all the candy he needs. For this one, now they introduce the mechanic of the stars that disappear. So if you're not fast enough, you're not gonna be able to get the stars at all, which I mean works for us because we're speed running anyway. So I mean, I'm trying to go fast anyway, but they're a little scary sometimes because I've a lot of the times just not been fast enough even when I'm trying to speed run. But it looks like we're actually doing a pretty good job right now. We got this part, gonna concentrate a tiny bit. Please make it, there you go, bud. Okay, that was a scary one. <laughs> Barely makes it into our boy's face. Now we have this one where we have to go right there, drop that down. And I know at this point, I'm kind of just commentating what I'm doing, but that's just because you have to be really careful for these speed runs because it is very easy to mess this up. Come on, dude, get up there, please. You can make it, bud, okay. I don't know why I'm so worried about that. I think it's because this has been a nearly perfect run so far, and um, I wasn't really expecting that. So for here, we go right there. Oh, I do oh, come on, dude. Okay, of course, every time when I say it's a nearly perfect run, of course, that's the time when it has to start messing up. But whatever, it's still been a really good run. I just have to make sure I don't mess it up any more than I already have. I think we're on the last few levels. We're on 23 now, so we can use these things. Move that up there. Slice that. Get that down there. And only two more levels at this point, and I think we're going to be okay. So for this one, we go here. And this one's kind of hard because, especially when you're using a mouse. Okay. Get that, please. Nice. And I'm just going to let this go a tiny bit. Come on. Okay. One more. I'm literally just focusing up at this point. We have all this calming music, and I am not very calm. Come on, dude. Oh my god, please get in his mouth. No. Oh, <laughs> that took way longer than it needed to, but there we go. That's our time. 519, not the worst time in the world. And you might be wondering what our scores were. Well, we kind of got last place for the cardboard box. 
which is kind of embarrassing. But we got first place for the fabric box because no one's done a run before. Hooray for me.